This is Young Trader. Now the pitch is closer at 2.30. That was about 30 minutes ago. So we are going to review crude oil here and natural gas. At the end of the video, the support and resistance levels are posted. This video is for information purposes only. Not a recommendation to buy, sell any stock, buy the ETF. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. All right, here we have crude oil, your daily and your weekly chart. Now, we'll let's say, big this up a little bit here. All right, what do we have here today? Well, we got an indecision candle here. It's a red candle, but it's still indecision, okay? Yesterday, we put in the topping tail here, came down lower, lower, but look where she held, okay? Right there at that 8 SMA, and you're above the 21 SMA. Very, very key, okay? So now what you wanna do is look at this 73.11, that's your support. Right below it here is your 72.13, that is your support, okay? If that is lost, you want to come right to this 200-day here at 70.58. That is your key support level, okay? And then, again, after this all rolls on down here, then we can just follow these candles going all the way on down here, okay? So you got 69.54 here. Uh, what do we got here? You got uh, 69.50. We have uh, 69.11, uh, 68.80. Uh, you have 68.22, and then your big retest here is 67.71. So bottom line, if, big if, this 21-day is lost, this 8 SMA is lost on a closing basis, and it closes below that, this is your big target here at 67.71, okay? Now, if that is lost, then we come right here. See? This is what I've been pointing out here for weeks now. 67.05, okay? And we have here 65.38. Right here, 64.36, and your retest here of 63.64, okay? But again, everything is hinged on this 21-day and this uh, 8 SMA here and this 200 SMA here. If that's lost, here's the first big target is 67.71. If that's lost, then we just follow these candles all the way down. There's your other big target at 63.64. Now, here on the upside, well, you want to look at today's high. Okay, so that's 74.58. And then we want to look at yesterday's high. Very, very crucial. That's 75.37. But the key, the key, key, key to all of this right here is this 8 SMA here. See this? 75.13. That is absolute crucial. You can see here, this is basically the downtrend. Okay? And so far this week, where did it go? Right into it, but you can't close above. So far, you need to close above to go higher. So this is your crucial level here on the upside, is that 75.13. If, big if, you can get above that, then we just follow these candlesticks up here. You got 76.76 here, but your big, big uh, is right here, okay? Is this 200 SMA, 77.73, and then right above it here, you got 78.05, lines up very nice here with the 77.93. So bottom line is this, if, Okay, you can close above this key 7513 level. You're looking at the 200 SMA here, this 50 SMA here, okay, and then your uh, 50 SMA here on your weekly chart, which is basically the 78 area, okay. If you can get above all that here, then 7960, which is this candle here, is your target. Above that, we have that uh, 7779 here, and then we have 8163 is your ultimate target here. Again, if you can get through all that, then we have right here your 21 day at 81.77. Okay, so right here, your RSI here. Well, you know, you're looking, you could go either way here, pretty much in the center here. This is still very bullish. So your green is above your red here. I mean, it's working it here. It just had a, a down there here today here. Um, your RSI here on your weekly, that looks uh, that looks okay, and but you're still bearish here on your MACD here on your weekly. Okay, so. Quick recap, watch this key 21 SMA here, watch this key 8 SMA here, and this 200 SMA. Those are crucial. If you close below it, 67.71 is your target. Okay, right here, 75.13. If you close above, right here, 77.73. Okay, 
7805 right here, 7793. That is your upside target. Okay. Very, very simple. Keep your trading very simple. You can see how the charts play out here. Okay. So when you sold down, all you got to do is watch that 8 SMA. See where it came? Right there to it. You're back above the 21 day here. So we might get a sideways action. So when you look at your price channels here, you got 67, 71, 79, 60. So you might have a trading range here. We got to see how that's all going to play out here. But if you watch these key SMAs here, you will make money. Okay. So don't be afraid to go long. Don't be afraid to go short here. Uh, UCO was a good was a good scalp today. SEO was a good scalp today. So very very good trading. Let's take a look here and see what Natty Gas did. Okay, here we have natural gas, your hourly and your four hour chart. Okay, now you can see right here, okay, you put in a candle up here. This was uh, 2.597. We've looked at this candle right here. What do you have? 2.59. That's just a classic double top. Tells me you got to go short. Came all the way on down here. Now it bounced around here. That tells you, you got to take your short off because it never came down to this candle here at that 2.385. Okay, now she's rallying up here real nice. And now you put in a 2.60, that's a higher high. So if you can stay up in that area there above this double top here, that's looking good to go higher. So you can see it pretty clear here on the old, uh, four hour chart here. See the trading range, which you got going there. See when you had your double top, came all the way down and then rally it up. So when you have a situation where a rally right off the bottom to the top here, you look at this pullback here, okay? So this is where you want to buy it on the green candle, run on up. But if it can't get higher than that here, then that's when you want to either sell or, you know, like me, I sell and I short all the way on down here. But look at the sideways action here, and you never hit that bottom of that key 2.385, okay? And now you're rallying up. Now the question is, can it get above and close above this 2.597. Now, it got up to 2.60 on a daily, but it didn't close above that. If you can, you got a lot of nice targets up here at 2.78. Let's take a look here on a weekly and a monthly. All right, here's a daily and a weekly, no monthly. Okay, so your daily, um, I pointed out here that this is gonna be key, okay, this 200 SMA. This is very, very crucial, sitting at 2.61. You're 21 sitting there right above that at 2.61. So that is your big time resistance. You can see right here, okay, see the, the tweezer top here? Sold right on down. Could not get through and close above, okay? Went up to it right here, just like this, right there, and just like today, okay? You need to close above that to get to the next level here. However, when it's sold down, you look at this candle right here, okay? That's 2.385, just like we looked on that hourly and the four hour check. What do we have here? 2.38. See, that's your support level. That is your double bottom. Let me just bigger up a little bit here. Okay. See, this is your nice double bottom here. So now you're still, even though you came down lower, you're back above this key 8 SMA here. So now when we look for support levels, well, you want to look at the top of this candle right here. That's 2.54. It's sitting at 2.589. Then you want to look here to this 2.45. Very, very crucial. Now the 8 day is trying to roll up here but we got to see if it can continue on up here. So 2.45, that is extremely uh, uh, crucial level support. If that's lost here, then we come down to this 2.38 level. Okay, if that's lost here, well, then we come right down here. you got 2.32. You have uh, um, 2.29 right here. you got uh, 2.27, and then we have 2.23. This is your big retest here, level here if this 8 SMA is, is lost on a closing basis. These will be your support levels here, but this will be your big target here if that is lost, okay? Now, on the upside here, you've got to have your 200 day, 2.61, and basically your 21 day, 2.61. That is gonna be very, very crucial. If you can get above that, then what we have here, you start right here at 2.64, okay? So that is gonna be a crucial level that you're gonna wanna uh, uh, target right there. And then we have, we have your 21 day here and you have your 8 SMA here, but those are uh, up in this neck of the woods here. So before you get there, you still have a lot of resistance. So when you look to the bottom of this candle here, you're looking at uh, uh, 2.67 here. Then you have uh, 2.75, you have uh, uh, 2.575, and then we have here 2.78. And then 
you can come up here to your 2.84 level, which is basically your 100 day here, your 8 SMA here, and your 21 day. So that is going to be extreme amount of resistance here if you can close above here. Now, again, what we have is a nice trading range here because you got the 2.61 here, and then you look to the low here at 2.38. Now, today was a really good day. I got 25 cents out of the UNG, and I'm scalping 15,000 shares. So that way it worked out really good. I didn't scal uh, uh, scalp any KOLD today, but see, this is why I go out flat, okay? Because if you had held the KOLD, you say, oh yeah, come up. But look how that, did, how that reversed here real quick, because KOLD, the high was 107, it's sitting at 98 right now, so it reversed really quick, okay? So that's why I just do the scalp here until you can start getting above some of these SMAs here or below these SMAs. Then you can go full-blown short or full-blown long, okay? But right now, the trading is just awesome here because you're looking at the 2.61 here and 2.38. Just scalp that until she's going to break one way or the other. Now, this 8 SMA is curling up here. Your 21 is coming down. Eventually, you'll come down to a pattern where it's going to have to bust up or bust down. Okay, so just always remember that. Now, when you look at your RSI here, well, you know, RSI is looking uh, pretty good here. Um, your MACD is looking really good. Your green is above your red. It's just trying to work it. The key is this 2.61 uh, area here, that 200-day and that 21-day. Uh, uh, if you can get above here, then we have big target here at 2.84. Now, if it does break above here, this is going to be very, very strong because you got the 100-day, you got your 8 and your 21-day. Uh, again, but if you could get above, then you got to 2.92, and then we have our price channel right above that at 2.99, okay? So it can rip. It's got a lot of good resistance here uh, on the upside here, but you got a pretty good size gap there where it could rip up very, very nicely. Again, if it loses that 8-day, you can come all the way down to this 2.23 very, very easy also. All right, that's what I got for you on the old uh, Natty Gas and on the crude ski. I'll be back tomorrow morning before 8 o'clock, and we will review both of them. Thanks for watching.